The term clicker training has become synonymous with science-based, modern, reward-based, positive training techniques. The clicker itself is simply a sound-making device with a nice, sharp sound that we use in dog training to communicate very precisely and clearly with our dogs when they've done something correctly. Many of us simply use a verbal marker word, such as good, followed by a treat, or yes, followed by a treat. That's fine, but the clicker is better in that it has a lot more clarity. The only time your dog hears it is during a training session, so it's not diluted by hearing the word good and yes periodically in regular conversation and it not being backed up with that contract of a treat. And people, when they use a device like a clicker, tend to remember what they're doing. So I find in training classes that when people use clickers, they are more likely to really focus in on their observational skills, their timing of their marker, and they remember to give the treat. So clicker training is usually faster and more efficient for both the dog and the person. There's a couple different ways you can use your clicker. Again, it's always a marker for the correct behavior, but there's a couple different techniques that we can use it for. So many of us are familiar with lure rewards. So we would lure our dog into the seated position and click the minute your dog's rear end hits the floor. Or you can simply capture a behavior when it happens. So let's say that I wanted to teach my dog to down. I'm gonna wait him out a little bit and see what he does. When he offers the right behavior, I'm gonna click and give him a treat. And he stayed in the down. So if I wanted a duration down, this would be a good time to click and give him the treat. You can also use your clicker for more complicated behaviors that take a lot of steps. When you do that, you're gonna break them down into small achievable steps. So let's say I wanted to use my clicker to teach a rollover. I might first have my dog in a down, use the clicker for that. I might see if I can get him to move his head a little bit and click him for that. And these are baby steps. And then if he seems ready, I could click the entire motion. And that's how you use your clicker, to mark the correct moment in time that your dog did something. I want you to think of it as the button on a camera. So if you're trying to take a picture of something moving, you want to make sure that you hit that button at the right time too early or too late, and you're giving fuzzy information. So clickers give you a precise way of communicating with your dog what they've done right. You're gonna back that up with a great reward, and you and your dog are gonna have a lot of fun getting started on your training. All you need is your dog, your clicker, and a pouch full of treats.